Beto Paredes here in the Media Center for Marketplace Masters. And I have been working on getting everyone we can possibly get to come to our show here in Dallas, Texas. I'm actually in Dallas right now. And we are just a couple of days away from opening our doors. And I got the privilege to actually do an interview with someone that I think all of you are going to be very excited about listening to. I'm very glad that we had enough time to get this in before our show started. I've got here with me Carl Schmidt from Retain Loyalty. Carl, how are you doing today? Real good. How are you doing, Beto? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to actually meet you tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of excitement coming around the show, guys, but I can tell you Retain Loyalty is going to be there on the floor with us at Marketplace Masters September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Come on down. Let's learn a little bit more about what Carl does here with Retain Loyalty. Carl, I understand you're the president and founder, and, and you guys have been around for a, quite some time, like 21 years working with the dealership. Uh, tell me a little bit about what your company does for dealers. Sure, Beto. Thank you. Really, what we're helping dealers do is retain customer loyalty, and that's kind of in our company name. Dealers are working really hard to earn a customer's trust and to get customers in the door, and sometimes they find themselves relying a lot on the salespeople to do follow-up, yet they also want them to constantly bringing on new customers and selling. And so to assist the dealers, to assist the salespeople, we're following up on the customers in a very unique and personalized way. Well, I can tell you that for dealerships, that is the absolute most important piece of their business is the actual customer. I know they spend a lot of time and money on this stuff. You'd mentioned to me the statistic you were saying that the average dealer spends right around $700 per customer to actually gain that customer and in the marketing and that keeping that customer is very, very important. So that's what you guys specialize in. And it sounds like you've been doing a really good job for quite a number of dealerships across the U.S. for quite some time. And to be in business for 21 years and to have the reputation that you guys have, dealers, listen, you've got to understand that in this industry, sticking around for that long and being able to work directly with dealerships for that time frame says a whole lot about a company. You uh, told me there's like four key areas that you guys focus on that, that really helps this retention for customers. Talk to me about that a little bit. Okay. With today's technology, a lot of it is, is mobile and it's digital, and, but yet dealers tell us a lot of it has gotten so far into the mobile and the digital that we've lost our personal touch. So we address both of those, and our follow-up involves both digital and as well as tangible aspects. So first of all, we follow up with the customer right from the time of the delivery. The salespeople use our iPhone or our Android app. They snap a picture of the customer at the time of delivery, which is the most important and most exciting event that takes place at the dealership. And immediately, the customer is going to get a photo text sent right to their phone, and it's going to have the dealer's choice of review links right in that text. So it really ups the number of reviews and positive reviews that a dealer can get on Google Reviews or Dealer Rater or any of the different review sites that they would like to have programmed in there, and they're direct links. So it starts out with a photo text, again, a personalized photo text, and then we follow up with the customer with a series of personalized photo emails. When the customer gets a thank you email from the system, it's going to, of course, come from the dealership, and it's going to have the customer's picture in the email. So immediately they know this is not junk mail. They're going to see the customers. They're going to see their picture. They're going to see their salesperson. They're going to see the dealer's logo and a direct link to the dealer's site choice of review links in the email. It's actually a multi-channel email, and this email goes out initially as a thank you. It'll go out on their birthday, and the images change for birthday, for the different times of the year, spring, summer, fall, winter, holidays. These go out. Typically, there's an automated schedule of about six touches a year, and each of those can have marketing campaigns, service offerings to invite the customer back in. But again, compared to our big differentiator, again, compared to anything a dealer is doing today, is the personalization of what we do. 
And so when you have a multi-channel email going out to the customer with offerings, with a opportunity for them to push the send button, of right at the top of the email there's a send button that allows them to share their delivery photo to their personal Facebook page and promote their experience at that dealership to all their friends and family. And the dealers love that. We conveniently place that button on the email for them to be able to just really real simple and real easy way to push that photo to their personal Facebook page. So again, we've got all of those things happening in the email. And then thirdly, we actually send out tangible, literal tangible postcards that have the customer's picture on the postcard. We actually have a patent pending on that. And they just don't get anything in the mail from the manufacturer or from the dealership that's got their picture on it. And the salesman that sold them the car's picture on it. And we also like to put the dealer's picture on there as well. And the building photo where they should come back for service and where they bought their car. So there's so many fields. There's about 18 different areas of variable data on a postcard that we, I mean, it's a one-off card that we send out. They only get the, that card once. And those cards go out as a thank you. They go out for their birthday. They go out in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, and it's a holiday. And there's actually about a three-year follow-up span from the time they buy the car that they actually get the tangible cards. And each one can have a service offering on it. Again, very personalized, and it's mentioned several times on the card. And so they really see this as art because it's got eye-popping graphics on it. It's got their picture on it. They know it's not junk mail when they're sifting through all the other mail. And it's just very, very unique and very personalized, and they get the same birthday card twice and so on. Then the fourth thing, we actually produce a upfront photo gift. This could be a, a really nice dry erase white or a one-year calendar or a two-year calendar. And I know everyone's got calendars on their phone, but when someone gets this big envelope in the mail and they open this up and it's their big picture on this photo gift, and in the dealer's logo, it's like the dealer's putting their own uh, little billboard in every customer's home. And it's not a little magnet. It's a nice size, a big photo gift that it is magnetized, but uh, it usually ends up on the refrigerator or on the wall. So that's the four areas better that we address and the four elements to our follow-up. But again, social media is a big part of it. The review sites are a big part of it and all of that. Wow. That's a lot of different perspectives on exactly how to engage with a customer that's coming to the door and is now currently working with you. And I'm telling you, that is a big deal to receive physical things that they can actually keep with them. And the digital age itself has really blinded a lot of how that works. And you step away from your computers. You're not always on them. And there's so much noise a lot of times. I really love the approach that you guys take. In fact, some of the speakers that are coming have really emphasized the importance of being able to continue on both sides of that communication and retention to bring people in and they actually build referrals through that process. So uh, I think that's an incredible perspective. So it's not just a model where you guys are selling a service or a software. You guys are actually very engaged in the process of keeping visible with those customers and doing it over a period of time. And I can see how that would be highly valuable. If I was a dealer and I was listening right now, what you're speaking about concerning the service model, what would you tell me was the most important thing about a customer and about retaining them in the actual business? Really, I think allowing the customer to feel appreciated and people appreciate being appreciated. And when you capture that moment in a photo and we take pictures of famous people and friends and family, and when the dealership's taken a picture of the customer at the time of delivery, it really makes that connection and it makes the customer feel like family. And then to follow up with them and reminding them of that buying experience and that fun experience that they had at the dealership, that's just really an important moment that takes place at the dealership. I would agree completely. So appreciation is not just about marketing and moving forward with that customer and looking to sell them more inventory, it's 
showing that you actually care and do appreciate them as a business because that isn't just going to retain them as a customer. That's also going to get them talking. It's also going to get other people around them seeing the difference that your dealership is making for them as a customer that a lot of your competitors very well may not be spending very much time and attention on. So Carl, tell me, if I wanted to get in touch with you guys a little bit more, I know I can go to retainloyalty.com. I've been on your site. There's a lot of great information on there. But if I wanted to speak with someone, because I'm very interested as a dealer, what's my first step? Really, you could contact us through the website, retainloyalty.com. Go to the contact page. Or they could call our off anytime, 1-855-665-6925. And they can talk to us there. All righty, fantastic. Carl, was there anything else you would like to tell our audience before we roll up? Well, just a couple of quick things. One, you know, we don't take the credit for all this, but we had a customer that's been with me for about 19 years now, and they've been using our program, and they were ranked in the nation of the overall winner in 2015 on Dealer Raider as having the most positive reviews of any dealership of any brand in the nation in 2015, and we got a great recommendation letter, and if anybody wants to see a copy of that recommendation letter, I'd be happy to send it to them. But the other thing is, if you're spending $700 to retain a customer and try to get them back, anywhere from 300 to 800 actually is the range, we actually have a, uh, a price point of somewhere between, the average is around between $30 and $50, a one-time charge, and we follow up on that customer for life in a digital way and three years in a tangible way. So something to think about when you're spending so much money to acquire a customer, they only spend money with us after they make the sale. So it's a customer spends thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. It's a no brainer to spend thirty, forty, fifty bucks to say thank you, we appreciate you, we want to keep you coming back. Wow, yeah, that is actually a, a very good deal. And not only because of what you do, but because so much is lost in translation. You guys are continuing the absolute most important piece about retaining people, and that's to show them the appreciation that you have as a dealer and to continue to stay in touch with them because it can get crazy at a dealership. It can get very difficult. You can be moving through people. You could have a staff member right now that's doing extremely well for you, that person's gone in six months, you've got to have something that really kind of keeps these things moving forward, the most important people, which are the customers that are actually buying from your dealership. So thank you so much, Carl, for spending some time with us here. And I look forward to meeting you. Most of the time I tell everyone, I'm forward to meeting you in a few months, but I think we're actually going to be able to meet you in person tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Beto, so, I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, awesome. Everybody else that's out there, this is probably the final media review going up before our show, so hopefully you'll be listening to this. And come on down. We're at the Hyatt Regency in Dallas, Texas, September 6th, 7th, and 8th. That starts tomorrow. And, Carl, I appreciate all of your time here with me today. You have a great, great rest of your day. All right. You too. Bye-bye.